Hello. Hello. We're yeah. back for another episode. We're we doing are. the Witchwood Brewery today. Witchwood. Because it was a cheap box like for Matt. Excellent collection of four prime Witchwood ales, which we'll work our way through in sending ABV uh, order. Uh, yes. From Indeed, from the strongest. weakest and strongest. And then uh, two extra ales at the end that we missed out last week. Indeed, but this Black Spear Triple and Old, Old Tom. Tom. So, uh, shall we get started? I think so. A drinking uh, vessel. I have a new drinking vessel, which is mm. a delightful mug that uh, my housemate bought me for my 21st. So, what have we got here, Liam? Goliath. Which actually we have sampled before. We have, we've, we've had all of these before, but you know, we, we have didn't. indulged have... in this box. Compare each of the Witchwood Ales and which one will be Indeed. the best. We've got the lovely Witchwood bottle cap here. Obviously, it pretty? Obviously, it should be currency, actually. It? it should. Like we, a should gold make, we should make our own uh, country and have this as like the golden coin mm. or the highest value coin, as it were. Indeed. Shall we? Shall we pour? It's quite a light one. Mm. I don't know how much to put in this. <laughs> That'll do for now. A full-bodied and robust ruby bitter brewed with pale and crystal malt. A rich malty taste. And a hefty whack of Fuggles and Golding's Hop. Fuggles. I fuggles. like it, yeah. It's what the Fuggles. I don't know, can, can, can we swear on this? <laughs> can we swear on this twat? What? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Certainly. Smells very nice. Does that, does that smell, is that, smells like it's going to be a... A very refreshing <laughs> beer. Yes. Well. Chin chin. Mm, mm, mm. That is actually very nice. It is very nice. Quite light. I mean, it's, it's pretty light. Quite light, but the taste is then is a very nice taste. It is very flavourful. It's refreshing. And it is refreshing. I can imagine it's having a... this after a very hot day. Yeah, just what I was thinking. Mm. Mm. So, shall we... Um... Yes, we shall uh, convene again uh, after we've done these half. In just a matter of moments. Indeed. Hi, right, so we're back. We are back after finishing uh, with the bottle. Goliath. A decent um, ale. It was nice. It was like, very refreshing. Phil, as I said to you in a, a second ago, left a bit of dryness. Or maybe that's just me. I'm not, I'm not okay, sure. I, d I didn't notice the dryness, but it's just... It's, it could just be my throat yeah, being a bit decent. weird. It's not, it's not brilliant, but it's it's a firm and strong ale. Mm, definitely. No, mm. um, I like it. Yeah. Nice... Uh, Solid. It's a, it's a nice flavour. Yeah. It's we were saying we can kind of you probably could stick on it all night. Definitely. Just, yeah. I can imagine just having that in a pub all mm. night long. Pretty good. Isn't Goliath. The beer to slay a mighty thirst. What's up next? Oh no, we gave that we've got to say where we got it. Oh, yeah. Of course. We gave Goliath a nice round three. A three. Because there's nothing special. But, but it's, it's still a very nice, nice beer. It's worth a try, and you no, know, it's definitely worth drinking I, a lot if, of. If you see Goliath in the pub, <laughs> we recommend it. you buy mm. it. It's a, it's I can imagine that being liked by anyone, anyone really. Yeah. I know, not ale lovers will like it. But it's general, quite, general people who drive, like beer yeah. will like it. Mm. Mm. This is uh, Witchcraft, which has quite a plain label. Uh, we've got not the old Witchwood Brewery topper. Yeah. Uh, the Witch on the Brimstick. Yeah, that's the stuff. one. So yeah, it has a quite a plain label. Does witchcraft. Blonde beer. Yep. Mm. Thrice hopped for flavour. Put over your lovely tankard. Yeah. Oh, I've got smoking at the top, but no. Nice. I do. It's hard to judge. Mm. Hard to judge how much to pour in each glass because this is very big. So much we, uh, what does it for. say it should taste like, Mr. Lee? A Liam? seductive recipe. Three hops, choice malts, tempt and charm you with a wonderfully refreshing, aromatic, dry blonde Ooh, beer. Aromatic, we should, uh, should we get our snacks in there then. We should get our snacks in there. Actually, it's, it's, it's more aromatic than the previous Goliath. It is. Um, it smells kind of sweeter. Are you getting that? Yes, sweeter than yes, a... sweeter. Almost, yeah, it mm. is. It has not necessarily richer, but certainly more, yeah, it is more sweeter. Very yeah, certainly. definitely. Mm. So, uh, shall we? Quite a light more. beer. Quite a light, more more towards the lager end of the scale, I think. Yes, definitely. But I, I, gen I generally of... find that lighter, blonder beers are more like lager. Generally, the darker they get, um, the more ailey they get. Very true. And then you get to stouty kind of country. Indeed. But yeah, we shall, to shall we um, excuse ourselves for a 
a short for, while, yeah, and get in back to you in, with the results. Yeah, in a short interval. Of witchcraft. Oh, hello. Hello, then. Welcome you back. just happened to catch us on our night of drinking ale. Indeed. Uh, uh, yeah, we just, we, we just finished, um... Yeah, we've concluded witchcraft. our pints. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Craft, if, Chris. Craft, if you're from the south. Craft, if you're from the north. Mm. Anyone who dislikes this video now has... That dislikes, you know, the word craft. Or well, anyone who likes the word craft, please like. Either way, give us a thumbs up. Cheers. Yeah, uh, well, yeah we've just finished our witchcraft. Yeah, it was a, it's a very nice beer. It's, 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 it is nice. Yeah. It's nice, but it's but, not remarkable. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. It's not as good as Goliath, which is the important factor here. Possibly liked by the lager lovers. Yeah. If you like the lager, this is it. more your type of thing. It's more like a, a natural evolution from a lager yeah. to an ale. It's... It's still pretty lagerish. It has that kind of almost graininess that kind of comes with some yep. lagers. So yeah, we're we're going with a uh, a nice two, solid two, two because it's not as good as Goliath, but it's still a good beer. And next we have as this. Liam is currently opening the wonderful bottle. Scarecrow, it's got an awesome, that, yeah, it's yeah. Got an awesome label on it. Mm. Oh, sorry. Now this is an organic pale ale. So it is. Look at that. Nice and pale. What's it say on the back about what we should be tasting, smelling, and seeing? Whole leaf target hops. Lazy, hazy days of summer in a serenely satisfying golden harvest brew. Golden harvest brew? Mmm. Heard it here first. <laughs> Heard it there first, I suppose. Okie dokie. Oh, actually, the strongest smelling yet, in my opinion. I don't know what it is about this. I can't smell as well. Well, I'm getting the most the most aromatic beer so far of the Ooh, evening. I just got it's a more strong, more potent smell. Mm. Despite being, it is pale, but it is quite a strong smell. Strong. Mm. Should we stuck yes, in? we should uh, stuck in. Interesting. Quite similar to witchcraft. I think a little bit stronger though. Yeah, it tastes stronger. Stronger, but similar taste. But it has that kind of lagerishness about it, yes, I think. Yeah, definitely. There is that. No, we say lager like it's a bad thing, and realistically. Well, for the ale. <laughs> for, for an ale lover, lager is bad. I suppose. Because my, my. It's not a real beer, know, is it? Uh, my dad is a massive ale fan. He's like, oh, and when I order a, a, like a Carlsberg, he's like, oh, a pint of yellow piss for him, please. <laughs> So they're a lager lager. And we all know that yellow piss is actually Foster's. Indeed. So. <laughs> mm. All strong, bro. Well, that's a cider, Chris. That's all piss. The Kopferberg is boiled sweet mixed with piss. And alcohol. And alcohol, yeah. I suppose. I suppose more of a woman's drink. More of a woman's drink. You heard it here from Chris. Come on! <laughs> it's either going to be a woman or, you know, prick. I'd, I'd, I'd say <laughs> Alka pops are the girl drink. Inside I, I have actually gotten drunk on uh, VK Orange because it was like 150 for a bottle. Then I am a better man than you. <laughs> it, it was 150 a bottle in a club. You're in a club. I went to visit a friend. Then you can't be blamed for your actions. Let's crack anyway, on with this. Yes, we shall. Uh, Fade to black. And we're back. Hello. Just well, we just uh, yes, yeah, we just finished Scarecrow. As a reminder. There's the awesome label. Mm-hmm. Nice. Better than uh, Witchcraft. Very comparable to um, Goliath. Goliath. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, the mid-ground between the two. And it's, yeah, definitely. it's satisfying. It's nice. I, I'd happily drink that tonight. Mm. night. Coupled with the, the whole Scarecrow thing going on. It's yeah, lovely. and the awesome label. We're giving it a three. Nice, solid three. Nice, steady three. And uh, you know, a bit more trivia. Scarecrows are awesome. you got the Batman Scarecrow. There's a brilliant song by Ministry called Scarecrow. There probably is a band Evil Scarecrow. Other. Evil Scarecrow, yes. Evil Scarecrow, pretty nice. Good, good band. Very good band. Yeah. Lastly, of our Witchwood Ales, we have... The Immortal Hobgoblin. Most people have Hobgoblin. tried this before. Good for them. Because I seem to remember it being delicious. I just one of my favourite witchcraft beers. Mm. So uh, without any further ado... Let's crack let's this baby open. Crack it open. We're smoking... smoking. So about the Witchwood Brewery, it's just they've got this lovely theme of, of <coughs> hobgoblins and witchcraft and scarecrow myth mythological scary. names. Yeah, it's almost like being in like, you know, a woodland in yeah. medieval times and taking in all this mythology. It's lovely. But you got the Goliath, the giant, mm -hmm. scarecrow. The scarecrow is just a nice kind of uh, 
metaphor for the scariness. You know, he's this disanimate but anthropomorphic character. Indeed. We mm. have the hobgoblin, which is actually the goblin, and witchcraft. Which, which speaks for itself. Yeah. Anyway. Do we have any good stuff on the back of this one? Tell us, Liam, if we do. Smooth, rich flavours, chocolate and <coughs> chocolate. Oh dear, I might give an hour for Lent. And crystal malts combined with refreshing bitterness from English Fuggles hops. Dash of citrus. Ooh, aroma first citrus of the day. Styrian Goldings, give the aroma. A beer of mischievous character. Mm. Yeah, that slightly darker sort of mm. smell. Maybe you're getting a hint of that chocolate in as well in the smell. Yeah, I think there's only one way to properly give this a test drive, though. Mm. Oh, I do full like body. Mm. I like it. Very, very sturdy. It is a very, very sturdy, tasty, flavoursome. Yeah, I enjoy. I like one. it. Mm. We shall give you our full review in uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail. That's the one. Really? Yeah. Wow. And Liam yet goes for another piss. We just finished our hobgoblin. Our hobgoblin. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. It's a very, very nice beer. As we knew it would be. Yeah, but it's, it's this just confirms it. It's it's great. It's a brilliant beer. It's, it's nice tasting. It's smooth. Nail. It's not overly powering and tasty. No, it's just really flavoursome in that kind of lovely, steady way that an ale has over a lager. Yeah. Fully endorse this beer. Yep, and that's why we're giving it the nice high score of four. Of four. We have only we, had one. No, we've had two fours before. We've we? had a couple of fours. Yeah, a whole yeah. steady a four. Nice steady four. <laughs> Sorry about this again. Every time we do this, we seem to run a bit long. So yet again, we're going to have to split this episode in two halves, but they will be called episode three and four. So yeah, tune in to see you in the next half. See you soon.